Grab bag. See what we got here. Lido toys. Had one in red previously. I guess it's hard plastic painted top knot. Different kind of hat. Maybe it's not Lido. Huh. Definitely using a, a, a similar pose. We'll get on Toy Soldier HQ later. And take a look. Try to figure out what the story is there. Interesting. And here's another... This one's a soft plastic. Uh, oh, looks like he's missing a hand. Interesting headpiece there he's got on. Huh. Took a little digging around, but this figure now handily ID'd as a Premier Plastics 45mm military figure. Here's an image of their full range, courtesy of ToySoldierHQ.com. I actually have a couple of the Air Force figures uh, there below, uh, often misidentified as being by Lido. Excellent flamethrower, dude. No idea whose he is yet. Possibly Lido. It might be a match to that, except that his uh, hat is not painted. Not that that matters. No markings. Lido all the way. Interesting soft plastic. I have a thing for flamethrower guys too. Flamethrower dudes and gas mask guys are instantly futuristic. Ready to go. Just your standard kind of... Soldier at arms or whatever, marching. Pretty sure this is him next to the officer with the uh, flashlight. And these Premier Plastics Army Man sets. Same distinctively rounded lower face at any rate. And that's meant to be a rank insignia. Who knows? And the rest of them. It's a hard plastic... Uh, driver figure of some sort with a with a with a post to peg into something. Pretty sure that's him there in uh, yellow and red, or what he was plucked from one of these Lido stage coaches, courtesy of ToySoldierHQ.com. Hard plastic, interesting, and the rest of them are sort of our usual suspects. Here's. A Lido rocket, I don't want to call it a car, I don't know what you'd call it. A rocket on wheels. I had these two examples previously. This one is missing its wheel, but it can be used uh, in, in lieu of a rocket in, in some sort of art thing. It still looks awesome uh, uh, upright without its wheels. It won't stand on its own. It doesn't have to because it won't. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out what to do with it. It's something I could use in some art. Here's a Lido figure. Yeah, you should be holding some sort of a... All right, there we go. Our new arrival at center in a, in a hard plastic form. Here the clink. One next to it here in green is soft plastic. More of a thud. Uh, this guy here. Yeah, I think that's a hard plastic, and as you can tell, he's the new guy here in green is missing the front of whatever that device or weapon is that he's he's holding there. On we go. Here's another one of these guys here, and I dare say he's a soft plastic, like the uh, example in the middle there so I've got a couple of extra of him uh, of him he's a uh, breakfast cereal premium 
and he's a little bit rough around the bottom. Uh, I don't think I'd paint him, but I could sure, sure use him as a figurative piece in, 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 in a work of art. I'm now doing these smaller box things, and I need smaller figures to go in them. So uh, that was one of the reasons why I bit on this collection. And here's another downsized uh, soft plastic and no base version of, of this guy here. I'm not sure what you'd call him. Some sort of a beak alien with a ray gun. Very interesting. His detailing is, is definitely different in this reduced sized form. Let's take a look at the three of them side by side. Larger ones, the sort of hatching, whatever you call it, his armor ends well below his shoulder. And then that one sort of goes up a little bit higher. Head and beak look to be somewhat differently shaped. And his pistol is being held at a... Well, it's a different angle on that one, too. Who knows? Who knows? And all the Lido space toy molds were destroyed in or around 1965. There's, there's something kind of creepy about, about Lido. They're gone. I mean, they're, they're, nobody's going to be making any more of these recasts or whatever. Yeah, his, uh, his arm angle is different in all three poses. And I'm, I'm sure it's just peculiarities dealing with, with molding properties. But it's not something I never noticed before. How about that? So he's cool. Now he's collection. I'd, I'd use him in photography. He wouldn't go into uh, any sort of work of art. Now here's my first of this pose. And I, I'd not I'd been able to find any of that pose until now uh, or, or, or had not been able to score one. So a touch of excitement comes to Steve's voice. He's sort of the partner of this dude here or maybe an alternate view of him. They're holding on to a very similar looking instrument. And again, I think he's a breakfast cereal premium as, as is this guy here. But pretty sure these were breakfast cereal. Premiums in the smaller size. Let's take a look at this guy again, because he instantly became one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. Interesting marbled swirl to the soft plastic, and the facial detailing is sharper than most. He's actually got pupils in his eyes. Far out. Now he looks better in person than he did online. And then there's this, which is which has to be some sort of a parachute toy or a pilot where you got a hole drilled through him that is for a purpose. Hard plastic. Fantastic sculpting on it. This this is what made me go for the lot. Um, yeah, he's awesome. Weird suit. And he's he's not gonna stand, so he's meant to he's he's meant to do something else other than stand. The hole through him it'd be easy to tie a parachute lanyard. Although parachute lanyards usually have two holes. The size of him might 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 have made it better for one. I don't know what he is. If anyone can recognize him as being a pilot from a larger space toy or yeah, he's this uh, parachute dude from, from this page here. Let me know. This guy deserves a closer look, too, because he's just so weird. Uh, hard metallic plastic. Skinny. Uh, just under three inches. There he is with his U.S. quarter uh, for scale. But the strangest thing is, is that he appears to be glancing upwards. Like, that's meant to be that way. I tried it from different angles of light and he just is looking up like what the heck rock star of the group yeah that's awesome love to learn more know anything hit us up